Hello! This is a quick tutorial that will briefly show you how to use the AnyMeeting Zimlet. First, let's take a look at how you can create a new AnyMeeting account or log into an existing AnyMeeting account through the AnyMeeting Zimlet. In order to start creating a new AnyMeeting account, all you need to do is click on the AnyMeeting Zimlet as shown here. At this point, a small window should appear and you'll need to click on the register button as shown here. Then, you'll need to fill out your information on the given form by entering in your first and last name, email address, desired password, and desired meeting address for your account. Check the terms of service box and press save to complete the process. In just a few moments, your account will have been successfully created and you'll be able to start using the AnyMeeting Zimlet. If you already have an existing AnyMeeting account, then all you need to do is click on the AnyMeeting Zimlet as shown here and enter in your AnyMeeting login information in the small window that appears. Press the login button once you're finished to start using the AnyMeeting Zimlet. Next, let's take a look at scheduling a new meeting through the AnyMeeting Zimlet. Once you've successfully created or logged into your AnyMeeting account, just click on the AnyMeeting Zimlet as shown here. Then, a small window should appear giving you the option of choosing to start an unscheduled meeting immediately or schedule a meeting for a future time. Before you can choose either option, you'll need to invite attendees to your meeting by entering in their email address or by simply typing in the name of existing Zimber contacts in the Add Attendees section as shown here. If you click on the Start an Any Meeting Now button, a new browser window or tab will open where the actual meeting will take place. If you click on the Schedule an Any Meeting button, a new calendar appointment will be created where you'll be able to set the date and time of the meeting you wish to schedule and also customize the invitation email that will be sent to your invited attendees. After making the desired selections, just press the Save and Close button found here to finish scheduling your meeting. Next, Let's take a look at scheduling a meeting from within the Zimbra calendar. To start this process, go to the Calendar tab and create a new appointment. Then, click on the Any Meeting button shown here. Now, set the date and time of the meeting you wish to schedule, invite attendees to your meeting, and customize the invitation email that will be sent to your attendees as desired. After choosing the appropriate options, just press the Save and Close button found here to finish scheduling your meeting. To start a meeting that was scheduled, just go back to the Calendar tab, double-click on the Scheduled Meeting Appointment, and press the Start This Any Meeting button as shown here. At this point, a new browser window or tab will appear where the actual meeting will take place. Lastly, Let's take a look at how you can create meetings by drag and dropping from various places in your Zimber account. One place you can do this is from your mailbox. You can create a meeting by drag and dropping any existing email from your mailbox to the AnyMeeting Zimlet shown here. This will initiate the process of creating your meeting. The address book is another place that you can do this. You can create a meeting by drag and dropping any contact from your address book to the AnyMeeting Zimlet as shown here. As you can see, the Add Attendees field has already been populated with the email address of the contact you chose. The Calendar is the last place that you can do this. You can create meetings by drag and dropping any existing appointment from your calendar to the AnyMeeting Zimlet as shown here. Again, the Add Attendees field will have already been populated with the email address of the attendees invited to that appointment. That's it for a quick tutorial, and thank you for using the AnyMeeting Zimlet.